I began tonight by saying that the Albanese government is in a whole heap of trouble. This voice business will bury them. The rubber has hit the road and they're all singing from different song sheets. The Prime Minister's disagreeing with the Attorney General Dreyfus, the Ind Indigenous Affairs Minister, Paul Inda Burney, she hasn't got a clue. They all get cranky when they're unable to answer questions and say how the voice will work. The Prime Minister has dismissed suggestions that the voice would be able to consult on climate change. The Attorney General said the voice representatives would have the power to go to the High Court, claiming they have not been properly consulted. So while the Prime Minister said of the voice, it's not about defence policy, it's not about foreign policy, it's not about these issues, the Attorney General is saying that the voice would be able to take its concerns as far as the Governor General on issues such as tax, welfare, health, education and yes, foreign policy. That's the Attorney General. Albo says it's about matters that directly affect Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander people. But hang on, they're Australians. All legislative decisions affect all Australians. In this voice referendum, we must vote, vote no. The scope of what The Voice can advise on is unclear. As the opposition spokesman on The Voice, Julian Lisa, has said, by the way, having himself got off to a rocky start by saying he'd support The Voice when no details were available, he's now asking if the Reserve Bank would need to consult with The Voice before making a decision on interest rates. Linda Burney, a nice lady, but clueless, answered by saying the RBA was independent of government in formulating policy. Linda, that's got nothing to do with it. As Julian Lisa has said, the scope of what The Voice can advise on is broad and unclear, and without accompanying detail, Australians can't make out what will be within and outside The Voice's considerations. He added correctly, indeed, the government itself is struggling with the same issue. Well, the truth is, even at this point, the Prime Minister and his ministers leading the push for The Voice are losing their way. Yet it's only days since the Prime Minister unveiled the referendum words and principles, but they can't answer questions. And when they do, they contradict one another.